Tous en un, en Afrique. Sur Frontier Force.
I'm a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Oh, oh, in the name. for families for salvation for all families and my la my wife will be praying and I will be agreeing in prayer Father God, we give you praise. Yes, Father God. God, we honor you, God, because you are good to us, oh God, Lord yes, Father. Lord. We thank you, God, Lord Father, that your mercies are new every morning as we wait. Father God, we thank you, God, this more, this evening, oh God, Lord Father, that great is your faithfulness, oh God, yes, Lord, Lord Father. You said in your word that me and my household, that they shall serve the Lord, Father God. And, you know, it's always, oh God, Lord Father, our our desires, oh God, Lord Father, for families to be saved, oh God, Lord. So, Father yes, God, Lord. we come in agreement this evening, oh God, Lord Father. And we pray, oh God, Lord Father, for families, oh God, Lord yes, Father. Lord. We pray, oh God, Lord Father, that, oh God, Lord Father, that if, for, for those, oh God, who are in church and there, it's just them alone, oh God, Lord Father, and their yes. loved ones are not there. Father God, I pray that you will give them the strength. Father God, I pray that you will give them, oh God, the character and the words, oh God, Lord Father, to, to speak, oh God, Lord Father. Father, yes, God. oh God, Lord, Father, into their families' lives, oh God, Lord, Father, so that they could be saved. Father, God, you say, oh God, Lord, Father, that you will save our household, oh God, Lord, yes, Father. God. So we thank you for saving. We thank you, oh God, Lord, Father, that salvation is free, oh God, Lord, Father. We thank yes, you, oh God, Lord, Father, that that you will plant seeds, oh God, Lord, Father, that you yes, will, Lord. you will, you will. You will plant seed that they, they as families, oh God, family members, oh God, will plant seed, oh God, so that their families can be saved. Father God, I pray, oh God, Lord, Father, for those, oh God, Lord, Father, who are, you know, even having a hard time, oh God, Lord, Father, to, to come to terms with their family members not being saved. Father God, I pray, oh God, Lord, Father, that you will keep them, that you will comfort them, oh God, in this time. Father God, that I pray that they will continue to pray for their families, oh God, Lord, Father. Father God, I pray, oh God, Lord, Father, that they will, oh God, Lord, Father, come to know you as Lord and as Savior, oh God, Lord, Father, every stumbling block, oh God, Lord, Father, that is placed in the way, oh God, Lord, Father, we remove it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we pull them, oh God, every stronghold, yes, oh God, Lord, Lord Father, that is keeping them back, oh God, Lord Father, from serving you, oh God, Lord Father. Yes, Father Lord. God, every generational curse, oh God, Lord Father, that is keeping them from serving you, oh God, Lord Father. Yes, God, Lord. every word that the enemy has spoken into their ears, oh God, Lord Father, oh God, Lord Father, up from that is keeping them, oh God, Lord Father, from coming to know you, Father God. You said that you will draw them, oh God, unto yourself. So, Father God, I yes, pray Lord. that you will draw them unto, unto you, oh God, Lord yes, Father. Lord. Father God, I pray, oh God, Lord Father, that you will minister to them, oh God, in their spirits, oh God, Lord Father. Father God, even that family, oh God, who is thinking about backsliding, oh God, Lord Father, because of whatever hurt, because of whatever trauma, oh God, Lord Father, that they may be going through. Father God, I pray, oh Oh God, Lord Father, that you will stop them, oh God, Lord Father, in their tracks, oh God, Lord Father. Father, but I pray, oh God, Lord Father, that they will, they will oh God, Lord Father. Oh God, Lord Father, you bring them, oh God, back to that place, oh God, Lord Father, where, where you 
where where they seek comfort in you, oh God, yes, Lord, Lord Father, Father, but I pray, oh God, Lord Jesus, that they will find rest in you, oh God, Lord Father, that they will yes, understand Lord. that salvation is more important, oh God, Lord Father, than anything out here, oh God, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. So, Father, God, I pray, oh God, for your saving grace upon families, oh God, yes, I pray for your saving grace upon families of this nation, children and Tobago, oh God, Father, God, we thank you, oh God, Lord Father, that our households will be saved. We thank you, O oh God, Lord Father, that the enemy, O oh God, Lord Father, will no longer have a hold on them, O oh God, Lord Jesus. But Father God, that they will come, O oh God, to know you as Lord and Savior, that they will come to know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father God, that they will declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. And Father God, we thank you that you are Lord of their lives, O oh God. Yes. We thank you, O oh God, for the work that you have started and we know that you are faithful to come it is oh god and we give you praise glory and honor in all the name but in Jesus' name i pray thanksgiving amen. amen and you know as my wife was praying just now um something came back to me that worship is a lifestyle this christian walk is a lifestyle if it is that we are praying for salvation for family our lifestyle must meet that lifestyle of christ we cannot be one way in church and another way home and the old the, the sometimes the first point of contact is through your lifestyle right so just a word to the wise and thank you for hearing and we love you so we believe in marriage in commitment heaviness and love we also know that once you make all the foundation of your marriage you'll be able to supply the trials and tests together Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 to 12 says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he had not another to help him out. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Thank you, Jesus. We just come this evening, Father, we to bring marriages before you, Father. Yes. Heavenly Father, what we know, Father, but that the devil is as a royal lion, seeking who, seeking who we need to go out. Heavenly Father, what we want to just lift up marriages, Father, what to leave, Father, what to leave, Father, what we know, the Lord God, in the world that we are living in today, Father, God, the devil is attacking marriages, Father, God, full on with full force, Father, God. Heavenly Father, what we want to be loose. Father God, no more will be tied down and bound, Father God, in the hands of the enemy. But Father God, we be loose, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father God, we pray today, Father God, that husbands will go to their wives. Wives will go to their husbands. And Father God, that matrimony, Father God, that you brought together, Father God, that no spirit, no witch, no God, Father God, will conquer the Father God. And Heavenly Father God, we answer them that you place your blood head around each and every marriage, Father God. No longer, Father God, there will be breakups. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, when I am, when you arise, Father God, let us come to understanding together, Father God, that you are the center of every marriage, Father, the Lord God. Heavenly Father, we want to pray this evening, Father God, that you take full charge and take full control, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father God, we ask, Father God, that you be the core, you be the center, Father God, of every marriage, Father God. Heavenly Father God, we ask the Lord that every married couple today, Father God, whether it be nation, by the world, by Father God. Heavenly Father God, go back, Father God, and, and, and to try and find out that spark, Father God, as you had ignited in them before from the first day I met, from the first day they met, Father God. Yes. Heavenly Father God, we pray this evening, Father God, Father God, that you take control, Father God, you take control, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And we cancel every attack and every plan, every plan of the enemy, Father God, that we want to come in and infiltrate and cause destruction and confusion, Father God. Heavenly Father God, we cancel every attack and we pull down and break every strong in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we declare this evening, Father God, that we will get victory. There will be victory in each and every marriage, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we call you, Lord, Father God, you know what your word said, Father God. That we are one and two are brought together, Father God. They, are, they will be in your presence. You will be in the presence, Father God. Heavenly Father, your will also says, Father God, that any man, 
find that their wife finds that good thing and receive favor from God, Father God. So, Heavenly Father God, we ask, Father God, that let us not start to receive that favor, Father God, that you have promised, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So, Heavenly Father God, we give you thanks and praise this evening, dear Lord God. In Jesus' mighty and just name, Amen. 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 So, even as we pray this evening, agree with us. Father and God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for sending your son, Jesus Christ, firstly to die on the cross so that we could have salvation. We thank you, O oh God, that your blood was shed. We thank you, God, this evening, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit even now was sent, Father God, to be our help and our guide. Lord, and this evening we lift up, O oh God, every young man, every young person, every young child, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up, O oh God, those, O oh God, who are trusting you, O oh God, Father God, to receive the impartation of the Holy Spirit because he is needed in this season and at this time. And so, God, we pray, O oh God, for hearts, O oh God, that hearts would be open, that hearts would be, Lord God, Lord, able to, to receive, O oh Father God, by faith, O oh God, the impartation of your Holy Spirit. Spirit. Father, we come again, so God, hindrances and blockages, Father, and things that may come to hinder, Lord God, the young and youth, Father, from receiving the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, we declare today, O oh God, that the manifestation, Lord God, will, will of your Spirit will even come now in the name of Jesus. We declare, O oh God, let there be a mighty move of your Spirit even now upon the lives of young men and young women even now in the name of Jesus. O oh God, for the evidence of speaking in tongues, Father, Oh God, we pray, oh God, that it's not by might, nor it's by power, but by your Holy Spirit today. And we declare, oh God, that your word will take root, oh God, and that, oh God, we will see a move, because we need that move. We will see a move of your Holy Spirit, oh God, Lord God, in the lives of our young people, even now, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God. We speak it now. We prophesy, God. We declare it, oh God, that you are doing something in this season, Father, for the lives, oh God, of these young people. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Chapter 8, from 1 to 4. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life is Christ Jesus, has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God said in his own Son, in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Let's pray. Father, we give you praise this morning, to this tonight. We thank you for allowing us the privilege to come in your name. We thank you. You follow us to pray in your name, Father God. Lord, we come against this storm who is trying to come and destroy this land. Father God, we know that this land is named after you, Father God. So we ask for your hand in this land, Father God. We ask for our sister, I to beg where we pray, God, that, that the storm will not destroy these two islands, Father God, and interfere with the economy, that we as believers will know how to pray, Father, because you came and you died for us, Father. Father, we come against every foul spirit. We come against the resurgence of this COVID, COVID sickness, Father God. We pray against it, Lord Father. We thank you, God. We pray against all those diseases that are trying to destroy the members of the church body, Father. We thank you this today, God. We thank you as a family that we can come and pray, Father God. A family that prays together, the whole system stays together. So, Father God, we cover our family in this house and our family in the church. In which we go to, Father God. With our pastor and his wife. We cover them, Father, today, God. We cover the, their assistants, whether Jerry and, and, and all the rest of the pastors, Sister Tammy and those other ministers, Father. We cover them, Father. We thank you for our board of directors. We thank you for our board of elders. We thank you for all the senior members of our church, Father God. We cover them in this time of crisis, Father. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray, God. We thank you for allowing us the privilege, Lord. tomorrow and what comes tomorrow father and even as we seek oh god that our uh, um, prime minister and our government has called elections 
oh God, today in the name of Jesus, we pray, oh Lord, for a fair, oh God, election without any incidents, without any uprisals, without any situations that will come to cause, oh God, unrest in our country. So today in the name of Jesus, may your blood flow over this land. Oh God, you said that when your people, oh God, will lay down, will call upon your name, oh God, leave over all of our wicked ways, yes, call upon you, then mm -hmm. will you hear from us. So today, in the name of Jesus, may your blood, mm -hmm. oh God, so flow over us, Lord, as your people. Yes, Lord. We ask for forgiveness of every sin, Lord, every yes, wicked Lord. way. Lord, in the name yes, of Jesus, Father, you hear, mm -hmm. hear from us today, oh God. Attend unto our prayer. Yes. May there be fair elections in Trinidad and Tobago. Lord, let there be no issues, let there be no yes. confrontations, yes. let there be no saying that this one cheated and the other one cheated. Oh, Lord, God. in the name yes. of Jesus, let everything go according According to your God. will and yes. to your way, we yes. declare today. We, you yes. say that that which we declare, so shall it be. Yes. And we declare it in the name, name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Free and fair mm. elections yes, in Trinidad and Tobago. And when there is persons who would be elected, the new government or whoever, oh yes, God, Lord. comes into power, oh God, there will be peace. There will be peace. There will be acceptance. Yes. So yes. what has been done in yes. the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray today. We thank Amen. you for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Father God, we give you praise today, Lord God. Father God, from the rising of the sun to yes. the setting of the sea, yes. the name of Jesus yes. is going to be praised in the yes. land of Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. Father God, I shall not be shut and have any go. Father God, in the midst of the fire, your spirit yes. shall be there. Father God, your angel shall be there protecting us, Lord yes. Jesus. So even as the storm comes, Father God, you shall be here protecting us, Father yes. God. We pray the blood of us, Father Lord Jesus. Yes. Father God, where the blood is, Father God, the spirit of death shall not come, Lord Jesus. Yes. So we pray the blood of our land today, Lord Jesus. Father God, even in the midst of this election time, we pray that your spirit be our guide, yes. Father Lord Jesus. That as we place our ballots, yes. Father God, we shall be guided by your spirit. Yes. Yes. Select the men and women that you see sick best, Father God. Yes. Father God, is only by your spirit things are done, Lord Jesus. Yes. So we thank you for being here in the midst of us, Lord. Yes. Thank you for who you are and what you are to us, Lord. Yes. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We worship you. We thank you for allowing us the privilege to come and worship with you all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Good night, everyone. We have been asked to pray for the healthcare workers, the protection, the healing of all workers in this medical field through this pandemic. At this time, we're is going to read Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the soul waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Here do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I rather myself and comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence, in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Father, today we just give praise, we honor you, and we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the healthcare workers who are working so hard, Lord, during this pandemic. Father, we pray, O oh God, for the Allied Health staff at this point in time. Lord, the janitorial staff, the ones who work in the sewing room, engineering room, the cooks, the medical orderlies. Lord, they may not be seen, but they are a very important part of the team. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will give them strength, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We declare divine protection over them while they perform their duties in the name of Jesus. But we pray, O oh God, that you will renew their strength, revive them, O oh God. 
protect them when they come and when they go from work, oh God. Those who work shifts there, Father, we pray that you will provide transport for them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we God, we thank you for them, oh God. We thank you for the good that they are doing. Lord, we pray that you will not only bless them, that you will bless their homes and their families, oh God. Because mm -hmm. God, when they are work, oh God, when their families are okay, they will be better able to function while they are on the job. So we give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. And we pray that you will cover the hospital of their yes. blood, O oh God. Lord Jesus, we bring the whole building before you, not only Santa and the general, but O oh God, the public and the private sector, O oh God, we bring before you, O oh God. Lord, that you will take charge and that you will take for complete control, O oh Lord, over this land. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we give you all praise, we give you all honor and glory because you are God and beside there is none other, oh God, Father. Lord, we come worshiping you, glorifying you, oh God, Father, because you are the I am that I am, oh God, Father. Father, you, what you said will come to pass, oh God, Father. So, Lord, we can depend upon you, oh God, Father. But also, in this situation, through this pandemic, oh God, Father, we have no other choice but to trust in you, oh God, Father. Lord, as we lift up, oh God, Father, the healthcare workers, particularly the doctors and the nurses who are directly involved with patients, oh God, Father, of the COVID-19, oh God, we ask for your Holy Spirit to come upon and you take control, O oh God, Father. Lord, Father, Lord, Lord, you are our protector, O oh God, Father, O oh God. True, they may have, O oh God, their mask and they have their outfit, O oh God, but in, but you are the protector. Only you can keep them yes. from getting this virus, O oh God. Yes, they, they, those things are system, O oh God, Father. But Lord, I ask for your divine protection over them, O oh yes. God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, Father. That, O oh God, as a, as a deal with the patients, O oh God, Father, Lord, all the healthcare protocols, O oh God, will be followed, O oh God, Father, that they would not be, they would not get infected, O oh God, Father, that they will have the strength and the energy, O oh God, Father, to continue to serve, O oh God. They have done an excellent job, O oh God, Father. They have done a wonderful job, and we, we thank you, God, for your keeping spirit. Yes. We thank you for keeping them, O oh God. We thank you for protecting them in the name of Jesus, O oh God, and we continue to ask for your continued protection, O oh God. Father, grant the doctors the wisdom. Oh God, Father, the knowledge, the understanding, because you see that we don't know all about this virus, oh God, but Lord, you, oh God, will be able to help them, oh God, take the best care of, of, of the patients, oh God, Father, oh God, oh God, all, oh God, the nurses, oh God, that they will have care, they will have compassion, oh God, towards, oh God, each and every patient, oh God, that they deal with, oh God, Father, and Lord, even as they, 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 they protect and they go home to their family, oh God, Father, that, oh God, they and all the family will be protected, O oh God, Father. And Lord, you will going to strengthen them, O oh God, Father, to come out again and again, O oh God, to, to serve and to praise your name, O oh God, Father. So, God, we, we, we thank you, O oh God, for what you have done and what you are about to do, O oh God, Father. Not only in Trinidad, but worldwide, O oh God, Father. O oh God, Father, this pandemic has shown that the healthcare workers are so valuable and so important to God. So, Lord, actually, God, your, your Holy Spirit to just take over to, to, to release that power to release that flow oh god father over each and every healthcare worker oh god father in the name of jesus oh god father that they are protected oh god father that they are healed oh god father in the name of jesus they go through their their, their problem they go through their their their, their situation to oh god but lord oh god that when they come to serve, oh God, they will serve, oh God, Father, with power and with might, oh God, Father. And Lord, as they bless others, you are going to bless them, oh God, Father. Oh God, bless them. Bless their home. Bless their families. Bless everything, oh God, and take charge, oh God, Father, that they will be comfortable in whatever they do, oh God, Father. Lord, through it all, oh God, Father, that Father, Lord, we give you the praise and give you the honor for all that you're doing and all that you're still about to do. And we say thank you for them. Thank you for the doctors. Thank you for the nurses. Thank you for, oh God, all the, the staff that are not seen and heard of, oh God, Father. Lord, we thank you for them, oh God, that, that, that Trinidad and Tobago, oh Father, could be a, a beacon, oh God, Father. Oh God, through it all, oh God, so we thank you and let your, your name be given the praise and the honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen.
Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Uh, we're so glad that you all are here on our power this evening. And my name is Whitney Andrews, and this is my husband, Akil Andrews, and we are here to pray for marriages. But before we pray, Akil just has one scripture that he would like to share with you guys. Mm -hmm. So tonight I'll be reading Proverbs 18, chapter 18, verse 22, which says that whosoever findeth a wife find that a good thing and obtain a favor of the Lord and um, why I found the scripture to be so powerful and important one because you know God was basically saying that in finding a wife you find a good thing and even on top of finding a wife that you obtain favor in the midst of finding a wife and I think that that was uh, such a powerful thing and I pray that that scripture even blesses some of the men that are listening tonight to know that in finding your wife or finding someone good that you even obtain favor before God and which just shows that women, you know, are such a blessing to us men. So tonight I would begin praying. I would start off the prayer and you know, my prayer is really that men and women of God will honor the covenant of marriage. Um, in the midst of all that's going on right now so could you bow your head so as we go to pray so mighty god and father we bless you tonight we give you thanks honor glory and praise mighty god and father before your throne of grace we bring forward marriages of god and even the marriages of cookie open bible church especially god that men and women, that the men and women of God would understand and realize and come into the fullness of their understanding that marriage is a covenant with you involved as well, O oh God. It is not just a love relationship between the husband and the wife, but it's also a covenant where you are involved. You are in the midst of God and you have so much plans and so much things that you want to see come to fruition in the marriages of men and women so i declare holy marriages oh god i declare marriages where love will abound oh god even in the midst of challenges and disagreements oh god that men and women oh god would honor you their god just as much as you know they want to honor their spouses that they honor you and every decision that they make their god everything that they say they would understand that they must be covenant keepers of their marriage in the name of jesus the word says that you know what you have brought together let no man put asunder oh god and father let not men even the men and women that are in the marriage put the marriage asunder mighty god but that their marriage will fulfill a kingdom mandate or the kingdom mandate of god so lord we declare your blessing there god we declare this word that the men and women of cookie open bible and even in the christian community by extension would be covenant keepers especially in their marriages in the name of jesus and that they will see all the joy they would see all the happiness they would see all the blessing in their in them obeying that covenant in them being those covenant keepers in the name of jesus so lord i declare that men and women would go forth and just declare this over their life and their marriage in jesus name we just give you thanks and praise lord for each and every marriage in cookie open bible church lord and every other marriage that you know under the sound of our voices are listening to this video god we bring these marriages before you and lord we know that there's a plan for each and every marriage and we say where the enemy has tried to come against this marriage being long lasting are coming against this marriage working out and fulfilling kingdom mandate we cancel those plans right now in the name jesus. of jesus we say satan you have no authority you have no power to try and frustrate the purposes of god for this union and we give you thanks and praise heavenly father that your word has already gone forward concerning this marriage your word has already gone forward concerning the challenges or the trials oh lord and, and lord we know that this these 
marriages, oh God, will be victorious in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that you have a plan and a purpose for every man and woman that is joined together as one flesh. And we declare tonight that in Jesus' name, they will stay together and they will come together and glorify you, Father God, in their union. Lord, every work that you have called them to do, we say in the name of Jesus, may be accomplished. We say, we say every single plan that you have put to them, oh God, every single legacy, every single generation that must come forward, we call it forward right now through this marriage in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we give you thanks and praise that these men and women, they will rise up, oh God. They will say, Jesus, you increase and I will decrease. We come against the spirit of pride in these marriages, Father God. May these men and women seek to, seek to serve you, God, and then serve each other first and foremost before themselves. We rebuke selfishness in the marriage where where, where arrogance and, and, and selfishness is superseding humility and love. We cancel out that right now in the name of Jesus. And we declare in the name of Jesus tonight that the peace of God which passes all understanding will keep their hearts and minds in you, Father God. Every single challenge, every single obstacle that has been coming up against them, we cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. And we declare, Father God, that these marriages will honor you. We declare, Father God, that these unions will glorify your name. Lord, every adulterous relationship, we speak against it right now in the name of Jesus. We say, we call forward every man and every woman back into unity with each other, Lord. Unity in the physical and unity in the spiritual. We pray, Lord, that these relationships be restored to the fullest order in the name of Jesus. And Lord, that these couples, that they will come together and pray. Yes. Lord, you said in your word that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. Yes. And Father God, we pray right now that each couple, that they begin to pull down the strongholds that have been erected in their marriage, that have been keeping them back from yes. doing as you have called them to do, from yes. walking as you have called them to do, and yes. from living as you have, as you have called them to do. Yes. So Father God, we give you thanks and praise praise that tonight that these unions are restored we give you thanks and praise that tonight they will be covenant keepers oh lord they will remember the covenant that they have made with you lord and that they will glorify your name in jesus name we pray amen 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 a pleasure once again to join the open bible prayer team and to be a part of your hour of power prayer experience today um, this evening will be a, i'll be praying for the family and um, as you're fully aware, the family is facing tremendous challenges today. And um, all over the, the world, and even in Trinidad here, even within the Christian community, there's a lot of challenges being experienced by families. And it appears as though families are not fully aware of how they can do this successfully. However, I am a person who is convinced that family life can work if we do it according to God's plan. Let me just share a thought taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. These are very familiar verses, but I don't think many people associate this passage with family. But I'm going to make an association between what this passage is saying and the family this evening. I want you to consider before we pray. Um, it speaks about the wise man and the foolish man, and they were both building houses. And these both houses were ex exposed rather to similar experiences, which is the beating of the wind, the flood and the rain. And the Bible talks about these two men building their houses experiencing these same challenges of rain beating it, flood beating it, and wind beating it. And of course the outcome of the two houses were different. One stood strong, took the blows of the wind, the rain and, and, and the wind, and stood strong, and one crumbled under the pressure. And the difference, according to the text, Jesus started by saying, the wise man is a man who hear his teachings and build his house on the teachings, and he's given a guarantee and if we build our families, if we build our lives on the foundation of his instructions, of his teachings, of his wisdom, the pressure will still come and we will still face challenges and their needs will still arise. But the house will be able to take it and come out stronger and come out better. But on the contrary to that, he talks about the foolish man who builds his house also but didn't build it on the teaching of his word and he calls that building on sand. And those same experiences came of wind, flood, and wind. 
and beat that house and that house crumbled under the pressure and he couldn't take it. So that is saying to us today, if for some reason your family is crumbling, if your family is under challenge and there's a lot of contention and confusion and conflict in your family and there's no peace in your family and your family is responding negatively to the pressures that are around it, then it's a testimony of what you are building on. And the question you must ask yourself is what am I building on? According to Jesus Christ, if you build on his teachings, if you build on his sayings, if you build on his wisdom, pressure will come, but your house will take it and stand strong. So I want to pray this evening for families to really re reassess what they are building on and to believe God to guide families to really get their houses well established on the foundation of the teachings of Jesus Christ. So Lord, we thank you for the promise of your word that you made to us in that passage. You give us a guarantee that if we build on your teachings, if we build on your word and on your wisdom, our houses will take the pressure of life and stand strong. And even right now, I lift my voice for families, both in the Coke and Coke Open Bible Church, in the community, and in churches all across the nation, among the believers, among the saints, that somehow by your spirit, even as we pray today, the Spirit of God will move to cause families to reassess what they are building on, to reconsider the foundation upon which they stand. And according to that passage, if we just judge our families according to this passage, and we look at the outcome, we can know whether we are building on your foundation or whether we are building on human ideas that cannot take the pressure of time. And so today I pray that as we call upon you, you'll move in a mighty way to confront families, to move to give wisdom, to move to cause families to reconsider and to ask themselves the question, um, are we really building on the foundation of God's word? Are we really building on the truth of Jesus Christ? Because you promise if we build on that, our homes will stand and be successful. So I commit families into your hands all over the country, in our churches, in our communities, in our nations, in high and low places. And I pray that the Spirit of God will move across the land to cause people to look up and to begin to recognize that you are the author of the family. You engineered the idea of the family and you're the one best qualified to tell us how to do it. And I pray that somehow by your spirit as we call upon you, there'll be a submission, there'll be a confrontation by your spirit, there'll be a moving of your spirit to cause men and women to reconsider what they are building on in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that the Spirit of God will move to cause people to look and to make a decision, to make a choice, to make sure that their families are being built on the solid foundation of your truth, of your wisdom, and of your way, and of your word. Because this is how we can secure goodness for our family. This is the way we can secure peace for our families. This is the way we can guarantee that our families will stand the test of time and be successful. Even now we rebuke every lie, every spirit of deception, every spirit of, 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 of misleading people into thinking that they can do family contrary to your word and have good success. Even now we pull down those strongholds, the lies and deceptions, the misleading information that families are building on. We rebuke that spirit of lies and deception and we release a spirit of true glory and revelation knowledge that families will be awakened to the reality that they are building on wrong foundations and if they would make a decision today to put their family life on the solid foundation of your truth, then their families will work and work successfully. Lord, I commit the families of your church into your hands. I commit the families of brothers and sisters all over this country that are hurting, that are causing pain. I commit them into your hands and I'm thanking you that you'll move in a mighty way, Lord, to bring your truth and your understanding and your wisdom to their hearts, that they'll make the choice today to reassess their family life and to bring it on the solid foundation of your word. We are giving you praise for breakthroughs. We are giving you praise for miracles. We are giving you praise for favor. We are giving you praise for blessings. We are giving you praise for 
turning families around for your honor and your glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you all the praise and the honor and we are thanking you for deliverance, for healing, for ministry, for salvation, for redemption to come to families, Lord, that will be established on your truth and nothing else but your truth and will stand the test of time and will be very successful and victorious in Jesus' name. Lord, where families are at the verge of breaking up, we command a turnaround that somehow your truth will penetrate and break through and rescue families from destruction, Father. We give you praise for victory in families right now and breakthroughs in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you and thank you very much. It was a great pleasure to be a part of your prayer. Um, hour of prayer this evening. May God continue to bless you as you continue seeking and calling upon his name. Goodbye. Good afternoon. We want to pray this afternoon, my daughter and I, we want to pray for the church and leadership this evening, this afternoon. So um, I want to stick here. I should read us a portion of scripture before we pray. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want you to agree with us as we pray for our church. Father God, we give you praise and honor and glory, O God. We magnify your name, Father God. We exalt your name. We lift up your name above every name. Father God, we declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. And Father God, this afternoon, we bring our church before you, Lord God. Father, every aspect of leadership of our church, we bring it before you. Father God, we bring our pastor before you and his family. We pray, oh God, that you cover him with your blood. We pray, oh God, that the angel of the Lord will encamp it wrong and about them. Father God, we declare that no weapon form against them shall prosper. We ask you, O oh God, to strengthen our pastor, O oh God, physically and spiritually, O oh God, keep him in good health, Lord God. Father, guide his footstep, O oh God, as you have chosen him, O oh God, to lead, O oh God, the cookie open Bible at a time like this and a period like this, O oh God, Father God, he need your direction, he need your wisdom and your understanding, O oh God, Father, bear him up, O oh God, with your wings, O oh God, mighty God. Father God, we crush every tongue that would come up against him. We pull down every principality and powers in the name of Jesus. We declare that no weapon, no weapon form against them shall prosper. Pastor and his family, O oh God, Father God, take control of them, everything concerning them. We give unto you, O oh God. Father God, we pray for our leaders. We pray, O oh God, for the for the board, Lord God, Father, the elders, O oh God, the intercessors, O oh God, Father God, minister to them. Let self decrease and you increase, mighty God. Take control. We say not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, O oh God. Father, every aspect of leadership, every ministry, the leaders and their team, Father God, we bring before them, before you, O oh God, whatever battle they may be going through right now, whatever area the enemy may be coming in right now, we ask you, Holy Spirit, to take control, mighty God. Help them lord god father god where they need your help lord god father god minister unto them call them oh god unto you call them unto a time of prayer and fasting and to seek your face as we go forward in a different timing oh god mighty god oh god speak to them give them knowledge and wisdom and understanding oh god let the anointing oh god be upon them rest upon them for their different ministry oh god we pray oh god every ministry leader and their team will function under the holy spirit and the anointing oh god father god break the yoke break the strife and the division the division and every attack upon their life mighty god in the name of jesus let your holy spirit overshadow them mighty god fill them up with the anointing fill them afresh mighty god we commit them to you today 
We war for them, Lord God. We put long every attack, oh God, upon their life and upon their family life. Every fiery dart we quench in the name of Jesus. We say, let God arise and the enemy be scattered. Let God arise and doubt and fears be shattered. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we bring them under the anointing. We bring them under the Holy Ghost. We bring them under the Spirit. We bring them under your authority and your leadership, Lord. Mighty God, take control, Lord God. We give them to you, mighty God. Father God, we bring the leaders of our country, mighty God. Father God, at this election time, different leadership, changing leadership, whatever, oh God, whoever, Lord God, we pray, God, that you would intervene, mighty God, in every area of leadership of this country, oh God. We bring them, we bring them, we come against the evil, oh God, and we say, let God arise, let righteousness arise, let righteousness prevail as we choose different leaders, oh God, for another term, oh God, we pray, oh God, that your spirit will have preeminence, oh God, mighty God, we stand in the gap, oh God, for our country, we stand in the gap for our leaders, that we cry out for them, and we say no evil, oh God, no evil in the name of Jesus, they would not be guided by principalities and powers, oh God, but they will be led by the voice of God, mighty God, they will seek to be holy and do that which is right when they are placed in office. We come, we bring them before you even now because you know who will be there, Lord God, and who will be chosen, oh God. Father God, sanctify their mind and their life, oh God. We bring our country before you and we ask you, oh God, to take control of Trinidad and Tobago, Lord God. So we thank you, O oh God, for ministering. We thank you, O oh God, for your having your way, O oh God. And we pray, O oh God, that you will continue to minister to our leaders in church and in our country. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.
Father, we just bless you, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory. You made a promise to us, Lord, as parents, Lord, Father, as people who love you. Lord, I saw in the word where Joshua and Caleb, when they were spoken to, said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Father, I want to pray, and I pray this prayer right now for every family that may not be perfect. Father, Lord, many families, they start and they don't have a perfect situation. Lord Jesus, there may be that mother, that father, that brother, that sister, that son or that daughter that saying, hey, my family needs help. Hallelujah. There's a measure of dysfunction in different parts. But Father, we thank you that even though that there may be dysfunction in different parts, Father, it does not have to remain that way. You made a promise to us that amidst the disorder, amidst the dysfunction, Lord, you said, you, whilst we were yet in our sin and our difficulty, you paid the price. Lord for our sin and you made a promise you made a promise that no matter where things may be Lord as we confess to you and as we make a pledge to obey you you will sort out the issues in our families and so Lord I extend my hand towards the device right now and I say to you brother to you sister to you mother to you father to you son and daughter hallelujah it does not matter where your family may be right now we proclaim in the name of Jesus that the anointing of the Lord would come and father that there would be a cohesion hallelujah let there be a coming of the anointing of the Lord. Let there be a cohesion. And let there be a comfort. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus we proclaim this thing. And we call it done by faith. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Praise